Let's take a look at the new linear plugin for Figma. When you open the plugin, you'll see a list of all the issues that are linked to the page you're currently on. Each one of these corresponds to a frame or section on this page. Tapping any issue will navigate you directly to the relevant element. Let's take a look at an example. In this issue, Jory would like me to change the color of a button to match the rest of the onboarding flow. The linear plugin surfaces everything I need to know about this issue right here from within Figma. I'll take care of this quickly and mark the issue as in review and assign it back to Jory, all from within the plugin. If I switch over to linear, I can see that these changes took effect immediately. This is the issue I edited. I can see that it's in review and assigned to Jory. There is also a new section below the description that links back to the relevant frame. We'll use this to get back to Figma. The linear plugin can also be used to create new issues or link any existing. For example, I just completed this error state and I'd like to create an issue for it. I'll tap the plus button and create new issue. Here I can fill out all the details I'm used to from linear. I'll add a title, leave description blank for now, and adjust attributes like status. The attachment section shows me which part of my Figma document will be linked to this issue. If I don't select the frame, the whole page will be linked. But in this case, I'll select my air state frame so that it's connected directly to this issue. This seamless bi-directional connection between Linear and Figma is available today. Download the Linear plugin to try it out.